Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the Wasp with the Risk card here. So it looks like someone's allowed jealousy or anger here control their actions when it's come to the situation and someone's uh, finally understanding the error of their ways or how it has affected others. Okay, something that they've not really thought of before. Uh, we have mend. I want to fix our connection with dishonesty by lying. I ripped us apart. Yeah, someone's not been honest about, uh, you know, what they've been up to as well as why they were treating you the way that they were. Overall energy, we have the devil card. Yes, this is being bound and uh, attached to things that no longer serve us as well as uh, things that keep us stuck, right? Things that bring us pleasure as well as... Uh, you know, keep us in our comfort zone as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy this month. Someone's uh, feeling very bound by their thoughts of you. Okay, is what I'm picking up. Uh, King of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this month is a, a month where you really feel empowered, okay? You start speaking your truth. You're setting up boundaries here. You're not hesitating or holding back anymore. You are literally cutting through the BS, things that uh, just no longer serve you. And if this is relationships here or job, whatever it is, you really are cutting the baggage, okay? Things that stress you out, as well as feeling empowered because when you do this here, and you start speaking your mind, you really feel uh, things start turning in your favor. Okay, it's almost like uh, finally there's a breakthrough here. Especially if you felt like you've been on the sidelines for a while here, have been through so much. You feel very hesitant to speak up. You just don't want to deal with the drama. Uh, this is a month where this breaks through. Okay, the Empress, Ace of Cups, Six of Swords. So when it comes to their energy, they're overwhelmed in their emotions for you. They're looking at you as the Empress here and wanting to nurture this connection back to health. Really mend things here with the Six of Swords. Uh, it's the only thing that's on their mind. So there's a focus here here of bringing love into the situation their heart wants what it wants they feel very attached to you and feel like they just can't let you go Aries uh, you are somebody that you know they thought possibly in the past here due to conflict and now knowing that they've caused this that they could let go but they realize now uh, that they cannot they they feel very very attached okay so let's see what's happened in the past Three of Swords, the Hermit, Page of Cups, and Judgment. Okay, so yes, there are a lot of things that they kept hidden that were very hurtful here. Uh, due to the way that they acted, uh, they acted very suspicious. So it's kind of like you had no answers to things here. The Page of Cups... Uh, they were definitely letting their emotions run the show, but in their favor. So anything that they said or did benefited them in a way that would stroke their ego. And this caused you a lot of pain and suffering here, especially since they could be gone for long periods of time, making you feel like they just don't care about you. Uh, tell me this Three of Swords. I see this person's like hypersensitive inside, but they don't show that. Okay, so I'm seeing that they felt bound to their own feelings as if they weren't good enough for you and they felt like you are on a pedestal here in the Empress card that anyone would be lucky to have you in their life. Uh, but it's like it started to seep in and they gave in to their doubts about themselves and they really retaliated in a way where it was all about them winning. So kind of became a game here where you felt like you know, the, what's the competition? What are you thinking is going on here? Uh, because you weren't playing a game, but it's like they had to win, win, win. No matter what conversation was going on, they had to be looked at by you as uh, on a pedestal above everyone else. And this 
created jealousy when they didn't feel like they were getting that attention from you. And you were sitting over there going, what? I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, because I see you confused. Uh, tell me the judgment card. Like, you couldn't understand what was fueling this, is what I see. Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's always like, they had to be number one. They had to feel by you that they were truly desired more than anything. That you only looked at them. There's a lot of jealousy uh, I see here going on where they feel like they're not good enough unless they get all of your attention or you are chasing them. And this is something that just wasn't viable, right? It's not real. And uh, the more that they wanted this, it the hole became deeper where they tried to fill that hole. So it became more intense how they came at you. So they would cause conflict here, try to upset you in ways so that you would come running to them, want to uh, chase them for love and attention. Okay, so let's see what happens here in the challenge. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So they didn't put any effort in. In fact, they worked really hard for themselves. I mean, they get an A-plus for that because what they did uh, hurt you so deeply that for some of you, uh, it did scar you in a sense. It means you have some trust issues and not really want to give in to love situations anymore. And with the Page of Swords, I mean, this person really poked at you. They really tried to uh, ruffle your feathers up, cause some problems here for their own gain. This person also felt, okay, deeply here, that there was no way that they wanted to lose you. So they felt very jealous in a sense if they saw you giving attention to anyone else online. There's social media here showing up. Uh, distance here where they feel like it's so unattainable for them to stop you or to be in the middle of it and so they feel like it's out of their control and anything not in their control it makes them go crazy okay and it really starts uh, making them overanalyze and they become more uh, jealous and angry here okay queen of cups with the king of pentacles yeah they felt like you belong to them but they weren't showing that or expressing that to you. They were really showing you that it was all about themselves. But it was something that was fueling them for a long time. Okay, not just with you, but they tend to do this with things that they truly desire. Uh, and they get jealous of others as well. I do see that they always feel like uh, they have this sense of lack. They never get what other people get. And uh, I think you had a weekly reading, uh, not quite this intense, but something like this. Uh, where someone feels like, you know, you are the one that they truly desire, but they feel like they're just not good enough uh, to keep you happy and they're afraid someone else is going to take you away. Uh, the moon card. Yeah, it's like you would think, right? Uh, showing in your energy, you really would think that this person, if they're jealous, they would just give you more attention work harder to uh, really make this bond stronger than what it is but instead they did the opposite right they caused confusion spoke lies as well and uh, tried to anger you at times uh, in order for you to really chase them okay but I see in the current moments you know there is an epiphany here a fall from grace where they feel like man I really messed up here I let all of, uh, you know, my doubts and my fears get in the way of this, causing problems and uh, hurt on your end. So let's see what action they take. We have the Chariot Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So this month uh, we have a new beginning here and they're about to take action unlike they've ever taken before in a completely different direction that is going to uh, change things for the better but bring love into the situation here okay so if this reading is resonating with you in the extended we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say to you moving forward as well as the timing and the outcome if this is your last stop though thank you so much for joining me i love you guys and i'll see you next time